welcome your excellency asante sana asante sana please be seated thank you um let me say something very briefly then i can make a few of the careful remarks honorable members of the Nyandarua County Assembly, led by our very able speaker, Honorable Stephen Waiganjo, members of the Fourth Estate, I say welcome. And uh, I congratulate members of the County Assembly, Governor Kiali Vadisha, and the great people of Nyandarua County for being the first to enact a law regulating production, sale, and consumption of alcohol in Nyadaro County. In bringing to life the Nyadaro County Alcoholic Drinks Act 2023, you have spoken loudly and clearly. You have chosen life and prosperity. Through the leadership of the county, you are saving and securing a generation that risks being wiped out by illicit alcohol. Now we have a legal framework to support eradication of toxic and deadly brew for sobriety and productivity in the community and society. President William Ruto and the entire government acknowledge you for the courage of putting the people first before personal political interest. We know and understand that the pushback is ruthless. This is a kind of leadership that counties and indeed our country needs for impact. The Nyandarwa County Alcoholic Drinks Act 2023 is an exciting outcome of the various engagements that I held with several stakeholders at the national and county levels. This law, therefore, complements the efforts of national government agencies like NACADA, our national security agencies, in adding consumption of its brews. Based on this milestone, we appeal and encourage other counties, particularly those that are working towards enacting similar frameworks, to hasten the process. And for those who are yet to start the process, Nyandarwa County is indeed the place to go and benchmark. I wish to take this opportunity to clarify that the fight against this toxic and illicit alcohol is aimed at promoting quality in genuine business. We invite all to support this initiative to restore dignity in our youth, who are the main target of dishonest and heartless, ruthless business people. On this note, I wish to thank the media for creating awareness on the killer bruise and highlighting alternatives of keeping our nation sane and sober. In conclusion, I'd like to appeal to counties and other leaders to support initiatives of individuals, organizations, and other stakeholders in adding illicit alcohol, drugs, and substance abuse. That is how the bottom-up economic transformation agenda will make sense in the Kenya we deserve. Mimi, honorable members of Nyandarwa, I, you don't know how excited I am. Is, uh, Pastor Dokas would have been here to welcome you, but she's in Kisi uh, over the Boy Child Rehabilitation Program. She told me to pass her love to you. Because myself and yourselves and our security agencies are dealing with trying to preserve our youths who have not reached the addiction level. Pastor Dokas and her foundation are working on those who are addicted and need rehabilitation. And she has told me to tell you to try. She doesn't need more clients. We make sure we don't give her more. She is overwhelmed by those young people who are already addicted. I want to say the great leaders of Nyandaro, you have exhibited exemplary leadership in this sphere. After my request in my Sagana home in Nyeri, where we spoke as we faced Mount Kenya, you have 
gone out of your way and you are the first county to conclude this bill. Asante sana. I really, really, really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate You have, you've done the right thing. This bill, I've gone through it, is a panacea to the problems we are having. Because the problem we are having, we do not have sufficient laws to deal with this problem. And we were having problems with the office of the DPP, the DCI, because of lack of sufficient laws. I'll be meeting all the security teams in Yandarwa, hopefully tomorrow, to tell them now they have a bill and they do their work. The leaders have done their job and they are finished. It is them to do their job. And I want to say, from what I have read, you leaders have done a fantastic job. If this law is implemented to the letter, this problem will be sorted in three months. Wale wanakunywa pombe, wakunywe bada ya kazi. Siyo badala ya kazi. And they drink the right stuff, isn't it? Na basi kuwe chache, maoteli kuwe mingi na mabuchiri, na maduka, na mashule. But we are having a situation where bars are more than schools. You know, we are having in a shopping center where you have 10 buildings, nine are bars, and one is a shop. And we were losing an entire generation. And I really want to thank my boss, President William Roto, because he called me and told me this situation is not terrible. And in one of the roles that I play in his government, is any other duty assigned by the president. And he did task me to lead this war from the front. And I want to assure the president I will not let him down. And I really want to thank the county assembly of Nyandarwa for supporting me in such a strong manner by creating the right laws to deal with this problem. And we are going to succeed. In the next two, three weeks, I'll be meeting all the chiefs and assistant chiefs from the entire region because I met the higher levels, the higher echelons. I met the OCSs, the ACCs, the DCCs. I want to meet the grassroots people to come and support your effort. Because just like you, they are grassroots people. We are not relenting on this war. Many people are trying to sell me fear that these people who drink and the ones who drink and the ones who sell are very active politically and my political life can come to an end. I know you are being threatened the same way. What we are saying is, if by enacting laws to protect the next generation from extinction, if by making sure the law is applied strictly to save the next generation from extinction, if that will bring our political career to an end, so be it. I don't think there is, any need for, there is any need for any leader to lead a drunken population. I don't think there is any pride for me to be deputy president and everybody where I go, they are all staggering and they are sleeping in ditches. I would like to lead sober people, dignified people. That is how you enjoy leadership. People who are prosperous, people who work hard, people who are smart, people who are able to take care of their children, people who are able to take care of their families. No leader of they sort want to lead a drunken population, broken homes, people who are battered, young people sleeping in the trenches, staggering in meetings. I don't think any leader of they sort would be interested in leading that kind of population. And I want to say this problem is national, but central Kenya was the hardest hit because I think the previous administration, either by design or by default, had an intention to wipe out our young generation in the mountain. Because all the bad alcohol, all the illicit drinks, all the poisonous substances were taken to the central Kenya region. They were sold during daylight when chiefs are there, police are there, nobody cared and we are losing almost an entire generation. And I really want to thank President William Ruto for taking the bold step, very courageous, and asking me to lead this war. I'll be going also to the coast province where there is a big problem of drug, the hard drugs. 
it is a lot, it's quite huge in the coast province. And the leaders there have called me to go and try to initiate the effort and give it momenta, momentum so that we can work on it. So Mimi, I want to say what you you know you are my people. I am one of you. You know I have a farm there in uh, Shamata. So, nitakuja mwezi ujao, nichore kanyumba, niweke hapo. Ile Christmas uliona watu wamekuja kwa wangu nyeri, mungu wakikubali. Christmas hii, nitakuwa na watu ya nyandaru wapalesha mata. I'm going, to, I'm going to, to build something there, little kanyumba kidogo hapo ya mze, fingira kidogo. So I am very happy that my county of Nyandarwa is going to be sober because I'm also a sober leader. So ningekuwa na huzuni mingi nikiwa ulevi kupidukia diyo imezunguka mimi nyumbani. Kwa hivyo mimi na shukuru sana watu ya nyumbani. And uh, you know we have come with the president of Nyandarwa I think seven times. The president and I love Nyandarwa. President anapenda Nyandarwa sana vile mbunampenda. Na mimi napenda nyandarwa kwa sababu mimi ni moja wenu. Na kwa hivyo tutafanya ikasi pa moja. Dunyo njeru hii the road is on course. The president gave directions. Na makaratasi imeanza. So hivi karibuni itaanza. Muzikuwa na waswasa. The financial autonomy of counties is on course. We agreed. Kila arm of government should be allowed to have financial autonomy. So that the executive does not control you. And I want to thank this assembly. And the speaker for your leadership because you are united. We had a very difficult assembly in the last administration where the assembly was fighting with the governor, they were fighting among themselves, affecting service delivery. When a speaker and assembly under your leadership and the house leadership, you are oversighting the governor but not obstructing from performance. And that is what an assembly should do oversight the governor for good governance but allow him to work, facilitate him, pass his budget, allow him to function. But perhaps you need to oversight, please oversight him. And that is the way things should go. Even in the national government, we have told the National Assembly, the Senate, oversight us. There is no problem. Where we are wrong, correct us, but support us. Where we need to do the right thing. So I really want to say that uh, you people have done very well. And Mwendele, na nitakuwa nikialika nyinyi from time to time, Na nyinyi pia muna nialika, tunakuja, tunakunywa chai pamoja, tunaongea mambo yetu. And I'm very clear in my mind that grassroots leaders are very important. I have tremendous respect for grassroots leaders, our MCAs, because they live with the people. Ukitawa kujua ground inasema nini uliza hawa wa shimo. Those of us in Nairobi, we may not know what the ground is say. These are the ground because they stay on the ground. Hakuna MCA anaishi kwa ta, anakatu wapo. Manyumba yenu haina get, wanainji wanaingia wakitoka. I know what it means in terms of straining you. Muna letewa mashida mingi. And that is why we are happy the courts have allowed the laws on health to go on so that this burden that you have been having of hospital bills, of raising funds every weekend, will be a thing of the past. Tutapunguza NHIA from 5 to 300 so that everybody has a cover Mutu akikonjeka, anaenda hospitali, anatibiwa, anapewa dawa, anaenda nyumbari. So in another one year, hii maneno ya harambe za wicked sitaisha. And it will be a relief to all of you. I know muko na mambo ya matang, I know you have many issues. So we are still committed the way the president agreed to meet the 800 MCs from our part of the political divide. We are going to create a date mkuje tukue na mazugumu sana rais tukubaliane so that we can be able to, to make progress. Again, I think Bona Speaker and what we are forum, yeah, yeah, MCS, will organize. I meet the speakers from the region so that we share with this bill and they tell us what we fikisha wapi. So that we can also urge them on to conclude Araka Araka so that wale watu wasitroke nyandarwa waende nyeri. Because that is what will happen. With this bill, wale awezi wacha, wale ya kuuza vitu baya baya, watatoka nyandarwa waende nyeri. So we want to tighten this thing around the whole space and the whole country. So that we are going to the whole country and the whole country. And that is what will happen. And I want to ask our traders, 
to know that they are also parents. Much as they are trying to make money, they cannot make money by selling our young people poison. They cannot be rich by killing our people. Even God cannot bless their wealth. Let them look for honest means to earn their livelihood. There is still, there are many businesses you can do and make money without killing other people. Mimi sitaki kusema mingine siyasa naendelea mwacha na kazi ni hii. You know, let me say, those who want to lead, hii vijana wakikufa wakikufa nani? Come, kwanza utu wakua generation. Then unaesa kujipanga na huko mbele, isn't it? If these young people are all dead, wamepotesa vitabulisho, wanalala kwa mutaro, weo nataka kuongoza, utaongoza hawa, utaongoza nani? There will be nobody to lead. Let us first preserve this generation. And let us not be transfixed with the childish politics of succession, of elections. We have barely come from elections. One and a half years. People want service. Watu wanataka kuhudumiwa, watu wanataka kujua mambo ya barabara, mambo ya ukulima, mambo ya stima, mambo ya maziwa. Sasa mambo ya uchaguzi ni ya nituachana na yomaneno. I want to appeal to everybody, more so in our region, which people look a little bit confused. Let us focus on service delivery, and we want this region of ours, all of all this region, to be united under President William Ruto, the way to Likubaliana, to unge mkono, to wache mambo mingi, na tufanye, tufanye wana inshi kasi. Na area mara, fagiragi tarawe kegitu meru watere. Muku gire, ako lideo? Na alikia. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana.